In this video, I will explain how to find the critical path using activity on nodes networks. A critical path is a sequence of activities that takes the longest through the network. The total time needed to complete the critical path is the minimum time a project can be completed. To find a critical path, you must first construct an activity on nodes network. An AON network shows the precedence in which tasks must be completed. The nodes on the AON network are a circle with the horizontal line through the middle with the activity number or task ID in the top half and the duration of time it takes the activity be to be completed in the bottom half, as shown in the example here. Activity number, duration. To create an AON network, you look at your table and see which activities do not have any precedence. Activities 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 do not have any precedence in the example. So this means that to begin your AON network by, by drawing nodes 1 through 5, it should look like this. Next, you add node 6. Since activity 6 requires activity 1 to be completed first, activity 6, you will draw an arrow going from node 1 to node 6. Like that. Activity 7 also requires activity 1 to be completed first, so it will have another arrow going from node 1 to node 7. And it should look like this. Since activity 8 cannot be completed until after activity 2, we will draw an arrow going from node 2 to 8. Like that. Activity 9 requires activities 3, 4, and 5 to be completed first. So three arrows will be drawn going from 3 to 9, 4 to 9, and 5 to 9. Activity 10 requires a completion of activities 6 and 7, so both nodes 6 and 7 will have an arrow going to node 10. And it'll look like that. According to the table, activity 11 requires a completion of 8, 9, and 10. So three errors will be drawn from nodes 8 to 11, 9 to 11, and 10 to 11. And it'll look like this. Activity 12 requires activity 11 to be completed. So an arrow will go from node 11 to 12. Like this. And lastly, activity 13 requires activity 12 to be completed. So node 12 will have an error going to node 13. And it should look like this. And this is your finished AON network. Now that we have completed our AON network, based on this table, we can find our critical path. To find the critical path, you must first list all network paths. Once we identify the network paths, we can then calculate the sum of the durations for each network path. For path number one, we have activities 1, 6, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Their durations add up to 210 minutes. For path number two, we have activities 1, 7, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 
their durations add up to 220 minutes. For path number three, we have activities 2, 8, 11, 12, and 13. Their durations add up to 140 minutes. For path number four, we have activities 3, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Their durations add up to 90 minutes. For path number five, we have activities 4, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Their durations add up to 85 minutes. For path number six, we have activities 5, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Their durations add up to 90 minutes. Since path number two requires 220 minutes, which is the longest duration, it is our critical path. This means that these activities must be completed on time if we wish to complete the project in the shortest amount of time. And that's how you find the critical path using an AON network. Thank you for watching.